Yo people, what are you all saying? Hope everyone is good. So today I've come to the first adult gym session at Europa since the however many lockdowns it's been now. And the plan today is to do a little bit of pommel work on the horse for the first time in months or to be honest, properly years. And I'm also going to try attempting to swing on the P-bars, try to get a swing as handstand going and just generally see if I can get some form of gymnasty feel going, swinging the horse and swinging P-bars. So I'm going to show you around the gym, get started on some trampoline landings and then I'll see you guys when I get to pommel. That's landing's all done the track now. And like I said, I'm gonna come down to the pommel. Now, as soon as it is my first time touching a horse in probably a little while, I'm not gonna be attempting anything too special today. I just wanna get through the basics, go through a few different loops on different places, inwards, outwards, on handles. Then after that, you know, maybe we'll see where we're going. But main goal is just to get some clean leaps going up on the high horse again today. Now, I'm sure this is gonna be slightly different. As the last time I've done this, I was significantly lighter and a lot smaller, but we're gonna give it a go either way and then yell. Yeah, see how we go. First go, not too bad. Quite skewed, I was circling like this, so now I'm just gonna try and bring that right hand in a little bit, just my body's facing more forward, and get that true inward loop. All right, so to be fair, it's actually not too bad. They're not exactly ideal. I'm not sure if they're quite ready to take over some full on handles yet about being really piped, but quite happy with that. I'm gonna keep on going. I'm gonna aim to do another five sets of 10 like that. And I'm gonna see if I can get some loops going outwards. <laughs> on to the outward loops now. now. This one's a little bit sketchy to get onto. You can either start from going on the horse from nothing, or you can try a little step into it. So for me, I'm gonna try a little step into it, take it slow for the first few attempts, and the same thing with the inward loops, which can try and progressively get them better and straighter as we go along. Couple warm sets done now. I'm gonna try and jump into it a little bit faster, and that should help to make the circle a little bit straighter. Let's go. Outward loops, Marissa done out. Let's get ourselves on the handles. All right, so before I go on the handles, I'm just going to show you guys something which I haven't really seen covered too much. So, if you ever get to a pommel and you're thinking, Oh, these handles are a little bit close together, you're going to want to make them a little bit wider. Now, you're probably asking yourself at this point, Well, how wide do I need to make them? So, get your arm, place your elbow on the inside of one of the handles, and then bring your palms down the other handle. Wherever your middle finger extends out to is roughly where you want the handles to be. So, get yourself underneath. Grab the handle, that's on the same side. Um, after you twist it loose, you should find the handle is a little bit looser. Then from there, just push it out to the width you want it to be, then you should be all good. So that width feels about bang on. So for now, I'm just gonna go through a little bit of shear work, doing some side swings, legs in, legs out, and full shears, until I'm feeling more comfortable on the handles. And after that, I'm gonna try a few circles for the first time in a while.
So somehow I think my shears might have got better from being a gymnast. So I'm just going to finish up the little pommel session here with one shear to pick up into 10 loops three times on the horse. Then I'm going to leave it there and go get some swings done on the P-bars. If you guys are trying to attempt any shears, then the biggest bit of advice I can give you is make sure that as you're jumping into it, you're lifting that first leg up as high as you can, making a big split. So that as your leg comes in, you're going to have a lot of power. So then lift that other back leg up, make room for this one to come across, and then shear coming into it. So that has absolutely finished me. After not doing pommel for a little while, believe it or not, coming back to it, it does get quite knackering and quite sore on your wrist, but we're just gonna keep on pushing it little by little each week, just seeing what we can get up to. I haven't really got too much expectation, but we'll just see how good we feel in the coming weeks, and after that, we'll worry about the skills coming in. The bars with the whip for the worms go now. Just like the pommel, we're gonna start off nice and slow. So I'm gonna do a few sets of just dish swings really small, arch swings really small, and then just straight body swings going from front support to back support. Eventually, we'll get ourselves up to handstand nice and consistently. Now we're gonna try and take the swing up to handstand. Things I'm gonna think about when doing this one is at the front swing, trying to get my feet up a little bit higher and then extending through my shoulders so I get a little bit of a push forward and that help generate momentum to bring myself up nice and strong up into the handstand. My biggest tip for any big enough trying to start doing P-bars is learn how to do swings to handstand on the end and then if you want to bail, you simply just do a handspring off. Now, if you've got mats set up to a nice height, you can probably do a handstand flat back, but I'll just show you the worst case scenario now and how you can bail on P-bars safely. Nice and safe, it helps take away the fear from swinging to handstand. Now, I've literally got five minutes left this session, so I'm just gonna bang out a few sets of swings to handstand, and I'm probably gonna leave it there. Boom, so that is adult gym at Europa Dumb. Adult gym here is an hour and a half, so it's a little bit of a shorter session, but for me, I just like to use these sessions to focus on some old gymnastics work, such as the pommel and P-bars, like you saw, and when I go to Beckton, I like to focus more on my tricking, flipping, and whatever else work that goes on. But overall, really happy with how today went. Did not feel anywhere near as horrendous as what I thought I would when doing pommel or swinging P-bars. Both of them are still a little bit slow, but that's to be expected after not doing it for, well, I'd guess about four years now, maybe a little bit longer than that. So yeah, we'll take that. I'm gonna keep on working on this stuff when I come to Europa, get the gymnastic stuff going, and then hopefully I can get some more interesting and difficult skills done for you guys. But yeah, that was the video. Now I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, make sure you leave a like, and if you could consider subscribing to the page, that'd be much appreciated. Hope you guys have enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one.